Right, so, welcome back to the Vogue Auto Group YouTube channel. You're probably wondering who this Joe Exotic looking person is who's gracing your screen. My name's Lola and I'm going to be carrying on from what Emily has been doing for Vogue. So I hope you stick around and today I'm going to show you what this little snazzy rocket can do. This is something actually pretty exciting like I have never driven a standard one of these or even been in a standard one of these and I loved the original iteration of it back in the day so I'm super excited to see what this car is like it's loud and proud so if vibrant colours aren't really your thing then this probably isn't going to be for you but I'm all about it I love stuff like that so let me show you what we've got here this is the Fiat Abarth 595 Competizione or competition <laughs> Right, so you join me inside the car. She's a little bit teeny in here. I mean, I'm nearly six foot, I'm five foot ten ish. So, yeah, she's kind of. She's kind of little, but I like it. I'm used to driving a van, so this is a strange experience for me. I haven't even been in the car for ages, so this is a bit of an experience. So what can I tell you about this little pocket rocket? Well, if you can tell here, we've got a bit of a sunroof, sun visor thing going on. We'll keep that open because it looks better. Inside, it's actually got a really smart, cool looking dash. Like I'm seeing Alcantara on top of the steering wheel. I'm seeing Alcantara on the seats. I mean, these bucket seats alone, like they're an optional extra and they're snazzy. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, the seats alone are like a thousand pounds optional, optional, optional extra. And there's like two and a half grams worth of other extras on this car. So we've got like the carbon dash, there's a sun strip, we've got xenon headlights. Plus the other amazing thing is that it comes in the amazing adrenaline green, which I have never actually seen before. And obviously it's got the little scorpion stickers on it too, which I think really add to it. I've never actually seen an adrenaline green above 500. Let me know if you've seen one and what you think of them. Right, let's get her started up anyway and take her for a bit of a spin. So the dash comes up all nice and there's all like fancy little things that happen on the dash when it starts up. Um, yeah, she sounds a little bit throaty. I like it. I'm not really sure where to sit in this car because like I say, I'm not actually used to driving a car. I know for one thing, this steering wheel feels very low so let's crank that up yes i mean my knees are very close i think that feels better i'm actually really excited to drive this car um anything sort of hatchbacky pocket rocket little thing is obviously bound to be loads of fun isn't it so let's see how we get on yeah she's got a bit of rasp to her which I like. Let's go. So this ain't my first uh, rodeo, but it's my first time making videos for Vogue. So let's see how we get on. So far, so good. Driving this car, like I'm used to driving a van. So this for me feels like so strange. Um, I'm used to being pretty high up. I've got a 2016 M Sport Transit Custom, my absolute baby. And I've had that for nearly seven years now. Um, so driving a car is not something I actually do very often anymore. So driving this, it feels very low, which has been hard for me to get used to. But yeah, it's a lot of fun, I've noticed straight away. Today it's a little bit icy, so obviously I'm gonna go steady on that. We've got a manual gearbox, it's got a lovely 
Get off on it. That's what she said. <laughs> I mean, this car's obviously not like super fast. I think we're running at about 180 horsepower, which is still pretty nippy for a car of this size. Obviously, she's only tiny, so you know, we've got some good pulling power, I feel. But yeah, the seats do sort of, you know, hold you in, especially because you've got that lower center of gravity as well. You kind of feel like you're in a little bit of a race car, I guess. Uh, the only thing with this car is obviously you can feel like all the potholes and all the shit in the road, um, which isn't great, but obviously it is a little low car, so, you know, it's all about the fun on the road. It's not about comfort in this. So if you're looking for comfort, this probably isn't the car for you, but she's a cute little, you know, nip around town, look a bit cool thing. God, that sun is blinding. It's got a nice noise for the indicator. I like that. It's nice and noticeable. Oh my God, this is bang cool. Let's go. She's got some rib to her. Very fun to drive, like the steering's very responsive. I don't know if there is any particular changes in that, but it's got a very nice steering wheel, it's got a flat bottom on it, we all love that. It's just got like loads of pull when you want it, so I'm impressed so far. The sun is playing with us today, playing with us. Teething problems and all that. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe and like the video, it helps the channel out more than you realise. And if you're thinking about buying a car, then Vogue is definitely somewhere you should bear in mind. All the cars that we buy come with a full service history and full like ownership history. So we know all about the cars and where they come from, where they've been, how many owners, um, all that jazz. So history on this car, we bought it from the owner who was the only owner of this car. It's had two services at a bar. So she's, uh, she's good to go. You know, she's been looked after. Back to my story I was talking about before that van decided to come out of nowhere earlier on when I was talking about the indicator. She's got a cute little indicator click, I like that. That's actually how I failed my driving test the first time. Um, the indicator didn't self-cancel, so I ended up making someone think that I was going to turn their way and I wasn't, so I got a fail, which is poop. God, these traffic lights are long. Right, so off we go. The roads around here are pretty good, so I can show you a little bit of pulling power. So here's some pull. She goes. The roads around here are pretty good. The roads around here are pretty good. I'm trying to avoid every single little hole in the road, but it's impossible because they are everywhere. The roads around here are pretty good. I mean, in my van, I don't know what I want about. It's no better in my van, to be honest. Oh my god. 0 to 60. It's about six and a half seconds if you are interested. So yeah, like I say, she's pretty nippy for a little, a little boot. Now I know the adrenaline green is not going to be for everybody. Let me know down below if you like the green. I absolutely love it. You're defo going to be standing out in this car. There's no way that you could be driving along without people looking at you. Like I've already noticed loads of people checking out this car as I've been driving around. And it's just a car that I think when you're driving it, it just makes you feel good. You know, it's just something so fun about it. Like, you just want to go and it goes. And I just love that, you know, like you can fit it anywhere. And you're going to park anywhere in this. Whereas that's something in my van that is a bit annoying. Like, I don't go in multi-story corner parks or anything like that. I'm competent to drive in my van, obviously. But it's still sometimes you just can't fit in certain spaces or you know if someone's parked like a then uh, you can have to think about where you want to park it but in this car you know it's definitely a head turner that's for sure and if i was in the market for a car i would 100 percent have something like this that's just easy to nip about and i promise you now you won't find another at this price we really care about making sure people get a good value car but like a good car so that's why we obviously care about you know where the cars come from and also everything about the car you know like all the service history and all that kind of stuff like we're not interested really in buying cars that we don't know sort of what it's been up to I mean this car's only done nearly 15,000 miles so she's brand new she's only just run in but yeah with Vogue we do buy all sorts of cars I'll leave the information down below if you're interested in selling your car. 
So what do I think of this car? Well, you already know, I think you can tell already that I am pretty obsessed with this car. Like, if I had the money to buy this car, then I would 100% be buying it. Um, but I'm not really in the market for a car, as I said. Right, so I'm gonna love you and leave you now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if this is something that you would be interested in buying and also what you'd like to see from the channel and what you want to see me review. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.